righty, here we go. 206. It's been a great Halloween, hasn't it? These have been some great episodes. Even with the scary having to do a double episode recorded twice. Very scary. Very annoying, but very scary. So what do I think this trap is? There must be, he said the sea will rise. He said it's a specific time, like 9 p.m. Is it talking about low tide? Low tide means you can't get through the gate? That's the only thing I can think of. That or it has something to do with the big fish. Maybe that's what it is. The thing on the wall was foreshadowing at a certain time of night that big fish is out there waiting. That must be what's okay. It's one of those two things. I'm going to pick the fish because they foreshadowed the fish with the thing on the wall and he talked about he wanted to catch a big fish. I didn't really think about this until just now, but that's got to be what's going on, right? So, yeah. Alrighty. Let's get into it. You know where we are? You know where we're going. Three, two, one. I'm going to miss these episodes, man. Like, you know, I love canon episodes. But, you know, at the same time, I like how they're going over the chessboard here. At the same time, this has been a lot of fun. This has been a great, very fun arc. And it doesn't have, it has great pacing because it's not 35 episodes long. It's 11 episodes long, man. That's really good pacing. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> you better try to play this off. <laughs> He's handing it off to you, okay. <laughs> right. So now you won't be able to get him fired because you interfered. If you hadn't interfered, you could have totally gotten him fired. <laughs> Good point. They're going to be closing this base and firing your ass, though. <laughs> Hey, man, that piece is moving by itself. How's that possible? His fishing line. That's how it's possible. He used his fishing line. The hell is that? Oh, right. <laughs> I like that he's making it that chess piece dance. That's right. Dance, king. Dance. <laughs> or is that the queen? Yeah, you seem very confident. That is true. You keep saying 9 p.m. It's got to be a tide, right? I, I want to believe it's the fish, but the fi fish don't have watches, right? So they wouldn't be specifically on time. It's It must be the tide. They're about to hit, the, hit a reef or something. Somebody also mentioned a reef. Yeah, what are you doing back there? <laughs> yes, it seems that there is, yes. Thank you, Chopper. That's very helpful. Can she do the thing? If you're looking at the navigator, can you do the thing and like make, turn it into a cliff? You know? Yeah, they, they don't want to get hit by the same thing you're about to be hit with, the, the lowered tide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it arrogant. <laughs> you're about to hit a brick wall over here. Yeah, something's up, man. You better listen to her. See, like I said, they like they like Robin, man. They're making her the smartest person on the crew, too. Even though we know it's not me. Well, they're both pretty smart. <laughs> Shut up. Are you in charge or not? It's a tide. It's got to be a tide. If you say 9 p.m. one more time. Real, oh, the fangs. Now that makes it sound like a fish again. Is that what... Is it a fish? Yeah. That's kind of weird. Is it a waterfall? Why would a waterfall follow a, a set time? The hell is that? They've really got me mystified. I don't know what the hell's going on. Is it a... Oh, okay. That's how... Okay, you gotcha. Okay. They had me going there. I wasn't quite sure. Yep. 
<laughs> You're doing two different metaphors at the same time. Ow, dude. The hell. You're doing fishing and chess at the same time. You can't do both. Either do fishing metaphors or chess metaphors. Right. They've got it all planned out. <laughs> Domestic violence. Right. Right. We're screwed, in other words. Right, exactly. <laughs> Knocking the hell out. Hey, man, at least the domestic violence is going both ways. I'm, I'm more into that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. That's one tough shit, man. <laughs> Did he just fall overboard? Jesus. Well, crap. Well, the, the old man did warn him, didn't he? Effing hell, man. With what? It's because the, the tide ran out, right? You're stuck. <laughs> At least the water left. You have time to patch it up. Now I can just walk over here and kick your ass. Even though you can still outbeat them, right? <laughs> Would you shut up? We're not ditching the ship and we're not running. You need to patch it, man, fast. Oh, sh sometimes he's so helpless. Right? How? Meanwhile, they can come over here, but they'll get stomped out. Like, they can't beat you on the field. They can't shoot you, though. Here they come. Yeah, they, like I said, they can shoot you. That's a problem. <laughs> this is a pretty damn good trap. <laughs> I like how they have a, they actually call it the net because of their commander. It's a 9 p.m. net, you know. It's called a hangover. It does go away. <laughs> hey. I like Raccoon Dog. I like how the various members that we've been interacting with are now watching like the cooks. He's feeling very good about himself. <laughs> the only the, the main equalizer here is the fact they have so many cannons and so many guns these guys are just loaded with guns and cannons really what are you going to do with them oh we don't want you to get mad Here's the problem with you getting mad. We can get mad too. It's like, oh no, not mad. <laughs> Be quiet and inspect. <laughs> Your own relevance should be in question.
<laughs> Don't they have anything to patch it with? What about the impact dial is going to help you? Yeah, he, we did, we, they did show him gathering impacts. Really? Exactly. You had like three of them before. He's gone though, isn't he? So you, you just had the octopus hanging out in the ship all this time? That's what I'm saying. Somebody ate him, didn't they? <laughs> he has it because he ate it. Yeah. What the hell? Why? Yeah, but why is he down there? I'm very troubled. <laughs> I really wish they would stop calling him Longnose. It's not very nice. <laughs> yeah, it was neat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's going to have to be uh, Robin. Because she can put a hand down there and fire it, right? Yep, it's her. <laughs> you have her use one of her hands, man. It's obvious. You still need to plug the hole. Wait, wait a minute. So they're going to do the octopus. They're going to do the octopus. Also, so it's, it's literally going to be the same thing. We're going to end just exactly how we started with the octopus bringing you down to the ocean. Is that what we're saying? That's actually kind of brilliant. I didn't even think about the fact that, like, you know, they're going to duplicate it exactly. So from the, from the manga, it must, he must show the octopus going into the ocean, you know, with you going into the ocean. And I wonder if there was a hole in the ship in the manga. And so this is going to be part of that. That's why they're, they're not patching the hole. That's kind of brilliant. Like, I can't believe they brought even brought back the octopus. It's kind of blowing me away. That is clever. So he anticipated everything, didn't he? I can't believe they're going to duplicate the octopus. That is brilliant. So good. <laughs> Just do it. <laughs> yep. That's why he went away. So you're going to kill him, huh? And you, that way I guess you'll get credit is in your head? <laughs> Just as he predicted. He really does see everything, doesn't he? I like that the searchlights are following him up in the air. That's pretty clever. Ha <laughs> dumbass. Better get your octopus. That's right. Do the thing. <laughs> Do the thing. You need to fire. Now we're talking. Yep. Perfectly duplicated conditions for the next canon episode. <laughs> hey, man. Sometime. Not anytime soon, but sometime. <laughs> Get us out of here. <laughs> Mr. Octopus. That's right. Go for another one. <laughs> He's been the MVP of this story arc. 
That's right. <laughs> That's right. Everything, status quo is God. We have to perfectly duplicate the conditions of when we start this arc to when we end this arc. Brilliant. He really has thought of everything, hasn't he? We don't care about your shots. It's not really a hot air balloon either. It's an actual animal. <laughs> His bazooka. <laughs> Loopy seems to be having a good time. His bazooka is going to going to somehow conflict with their their cannon. I was wondering if maybe he. Oh, you're going to blow up the cannon, aren't you? Dumbass. Yes, of course. <laughs> Thank you for your support. Idiot. Now you're fired. <laughs> yep. Nice job, fellas. The best cook to ever live. The raccoon dog is gone. <laughs> we still don't believe you. That's an attractive looking fortune. I like this, man. This has been a great story arc. <laughs> Shut up, sump. Right, right, right. So what's the fallout going to be? <laughs> eh, F it. I like him a lot. You still failed four times. Arrest this man. <laughs> hey, you shot my cannon. I'm going to put you under the hole. We got all the dirt on you, man. Kick his ass. <laughs> She's about to stomp him out. I don't kiss. This son bitch really said I don't kiss. He, she should have called him a dumbass. That was hilarious. What was your primary goal? Training. The primary goal was training, right? Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a very good point. They kind of brought everybody together, didn't they? Interesting. They did a lot of property damage, too. A lot of property damage. He's a hell of a commander. I, you know, I really like this dude. Nice little montage. Saving some more animation budget, right? Yeah. How do you support this many people? A thousand people. Supplies, the supply chain alone must be ridiculous, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't kiss. <laughs> yep. He got knocked the F out. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see. We've done it twice in a week. <laughs> Land somewhere good this time. What about Jessica? Simp ass. Exactly. Oh, so now you're going to fix the hole, huh? He's even still hungry like he was before, right? <laughs> Bravo. Great. This was a great filler arc. This is... It's going to be really hard to top this filler arc. When is the next one? It says here the next filler arc is 220 to 226. And then the next really long filler arc, you know, because that's only six episodes, is 326 to 336. So we've got a ways before we got to worry about it again. Now, in a week or two, oh, um, the 220 to 226, that falls during uh, Thanksgiving. So I, I burn it there. I already had that planned out. Okay, cool. So, yeah, in a couple of weeks, we'll have another little marathon for the, to get rid of that arc. And it's going to be like 100 episodes where we really have to worry about more than one or two episodes here and there. So, bravo. Great story. This is one of my favorite arcs. It may be my favorite arc simply because it's very, very well paced. I love Skypea. I love Alabaster. But they should have been five to ten episodes shorter. At least five episodes shorter. They, they just were stretched out, right? So this was perfectly paced. It was a nice, tight 11-episode story, in and out, plenty of time for little shenanigans and side missions and reversals and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, you're in and you're out. 11 episodes is what? Like uh, a little bit over three hours of, of, of viewing time. You cut out all the riffraff, you know, the beginnings and ends and stuff like that. You got about three hours of entertainment there, man. That's good stuff. I enjoyed the hell out of that.